Okay, we'll look now at slightly harder questions involving equations of motion. So a stone is dropped from a shelf two meters above the ground. At the same moment, another stone is thrown from the ground at 6.2 meters per second. Find when they pass each other. So a nice simple diagram. There's our shelf. There's the ground. And this distance is two meters. So the one that's dropped, remember if something is dropped, that means our um, initial velocity is zero. And then our other stone down here, it's thrown up with an initial speed then of 6.2 meters per second. So let's consider each stone in turn then. So if we imagine the one that's dropped, so say they meet at this point here. So the stone that's dropped has fallen that far and the stone that's thrown up will be up here. Let's call the distance that it drops x. So if I take our blue stone first there, its initial velocity is naught, acceleration is minus 10, its displacement will be minus x and in a time t. And if we look at the red one, it's been thrown up from the ground, so it's 6.2 is our u, or a, remember, select towards the ground, that's minus 10. Now the displacement so the whole thing is two meters. If this wee distance here is X meters that the um, blue one has dropped, then the red one will have come up to minus X. And it has to be at the same time. Okay, so they're passing each other at the same time. So using S equals UT plus a half AT squared. First of all, for the one that's dropped, we have minus x equals, well ut will be naught times t, so that will be zero. A half times minus 10 times t squared. So minus x equals minus 5t squared, or x equals plus 5t squared. And then looking at the red stone, we have two minus x equals 6.2t plus a half times minus 10 times t squared. Now we want to be able to replace the x with the 5t squared here because we want an equation that only has t's in it. So 2 minus 5t squared equals 6.2t and then a half of minus 10 is minus 5t squared. Hopefully you can see these, when we bring our minus 5t squared across and it'll become a plus 5t squared, they will cancel each other out. So we're left with 2 equals 6.2t. So 2 divided by 6.2 will give us the time. And that's 0.323 seconds. So when do they pass each other? When t is 0.232. Part B then, we're finding how far above the ground they are when they pass. So again, remember a very complicated diagram. So they're meeting here, and we said this distance was x, the height was 2, so this distance here was 2 minus x. So how far above the ground? So we're trying to find what 2 minus x is then. So our height that we're looking for is 2 minus x. So we found in the first part of the question, we had that x equals 5t squared, and we found that t was 0 0.323 seconds whenever the two stones were beside each other. 
So we can find x. It's going to be 5 times 0.23, sorry, 323 squared. And that turns out to be 0.522. And then the height that we're looking for is 2 minus x. So 2 take away that 0.522 and we get that the height is 1.48 metres above the ground. And part C, find the distance then between them after 0.2 seconds. So again, consider them separately. We've got the stone dropping. So it's u was 0, a is minus 10, time is 0 0.2 seconds, and we want to find the displacement. So using s equals ut plus a half a t squared, we get, not, uh, this will go to 0, so we just have a half times minus 10 times 0 0.2 squared, and we'll get minus 0 0.2 meters. So it's going not 0.2 meters downward. So it's somewhere here. And then the stone that's thrown up. It's U with 6.2. Acceleration minus 10. The time is 0 0.2. And let's find the displacement of this one. So S equals UT plus a half AT squared. We'll use it again. So it's 6.2 times 0.2 plus a half times minus 10 times 0.2 squared. And that turns out to be 1.04 meters. So it's going upward. So it goes up 1.04. So we want to find the distance between them. So the whole thing is 2 meters apart, the ground and the shelf. The stone being thrown up has gone up 1.04 metres and the one that's been dropped has gone 0.2 metres. So we need to find how far they are apart. So I'm going to add 0.2 and 1.04 we get 1.24 and then I'm going to take it away from 2 to get 0.76 meters so that means our answer how far are they apart they're 0.76 meters question 2 then a ball is thrown up at 6 meters per second from the top of the cliff 4.6 meters above the ground find the greatest height above the ground that it reaches so here's our ground, and there's our cliff, and that's 4.6 meters high, and we're throwing a ball up here at 6 meters per second. Okay, so this is our, our wee zero line here. So we want to find the greatest height. We consider the motion then off the the, yeah, the ball, it's going to go, we're ignoring like any air resistance or wind or anything like that there. The ball is just going to go straight up, it'll stop, and then it'll come straight back down again. Okay? So when it gets to the top, it has to stop. Okay? So that means our U is 6, our V is 0, our acceleration is still acceleration due to gravity, minus 10. And we want to find that displacement then to get to that height. So I'm going to use v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So naught equals 36 minus 20s. Bring the minus 20s across, then divide 36 divided by 20, and we get the displacement is 1.8 meters now remember that's the displacement from our zero line 
So this distance here, obviously this isn't drawn to scale, is 1.8 meters. But the question asks for the greatest height above the ground. So our answer will have to be 1.8 plus the 4.6 of the cliff, and that is 6.4 meters. Part B then, find the total time it takes to reach the ground. Okay, so it's gonna go up and then come straight back down again. So we wanna find the time it takes to be down here. So our U is still six meters per second. Remember, we're taking this as our zero line where it starts off. A is minus 10. And our displacement, remember the height of the cliff was 4.6 meters. So remember, S is the displacement, doesn't care about the distance that it's traveled, it just cares about um, where it is in relation to the starting point. So it's 4.6 meters below the starting point, or minus 4.6 meters. And we want to find the time for that. So S equals UT plus a half AT squared. So minus 4.6 equals 6T, a half of minus 10 is minus 5T squared. Bring this over, we're going to have a quadratic in T to solve. Now, if you use the quadratic formula then to solve that, T equals minus B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4 times A times C all over 2A. You'll get your two answers. You get minus 0.531 and 1.73. Now obviously our time can't be a minus, so our answer is that the time it takes to reach the ground is 1.73 seconds. Our last part then, find the times between which it is 5.8 meters above the ground. So again there's the ground, there's the cliff and it was 4.6 meters, and this is our zero line here where the ball is being thrown up. So we want to find, remember it goes straight up, stop, and then come straight back down again. We want to find the times which is 5.8 meters above ground. So that's somewhere here. It's 5.8 meters. But if we take our red line there where the ball starts as our zero line, the first thing we have to do then is find the displacement. So 5.8 take away 4.6. We get that this displacement in here is 1.2 meters. So now our U is six, our A is minus 10 time is what we're trying to find and the displacement is 1.2 meters above the starting point. So using S equals UT plus a half AT squared, we get 1.2 equals 6T minus 5T squared and again we're going to have another quadratic to solve. So remember quadratics have to equal zero to solve. I'm bringing it all across to the left hand side because I don't want a minus t squared. And again, I'm going to use a quadratic formula. So minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four times a times c all over two a. And this time we get two positive answers. So 0.254 seconds and 0.946 seconds. So there are two answers, which would make sense. Obviously, the first time is when it's going up through that height. And the second time is when it's coming back down through that height.